Let me give Theophilus a mic. I need him now. Because I'm about to enter where we pray for Salem. What you will cut down with this sword and spare. And the Lord will shield you. He will shield you. He will shield you. I'd like you to stand up again. Wherever you are, can you stand on your feet? Jesus. 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 in Lagos I had an encounter that I couldn't explain while he was praying for me, I saw two men standing by my left and my right. I didn't know who they were. And then he said something. He said, there are two angels that walk with me. And I'm releasing them to you. All of a sudden, I realized that those people standing on my left and on my right were angels. And before he mentioned their names, the Holy Spirit now told me, now that I have understanding, he said, I'm the angel of fire. I'm the angel of light. But I will not come to you always. But anytime I come, a season has ended, and I'm going to open you up to a new season of journey. I saw those two angels last in 2020. As I went to minister to that guy, I saw them standing with me. I saw them standing with me. And I said, Lord, why did it, why is this happening to me here? And then the Lord said, I should tell you. He said, eat the scroll. 
He said, eat the scroll. For I am opening scrolls in this season. He said, eat the scroll. Eat the scroll. Eat the scroll. And the scroll was given to Jeremiah. He ate it. It was sweet in his mouth, but it was bitter in his belly. Because he was about to start addressing a generation. And the words for them to come out will cause there will be a level of discomfort, spiritual discomfort, as a result of another season to prophesy is on you. You will prophesy purity of the dealings of God. And there is a deposit that will be on this altar. There is going to be the breakout of the teaching anointing. The way singing is easy. The Lord will begin to pull you in again. And it will give you a handle. You see, Jesus said I should tell you. Now, Jesus said I should tell you. He said the assignment are in faces, in levels, and intensities. He said another intensity has opened. And I will place a demand on you. I'm going to take you in and we will make visits. We will open the scrolls. He said it's a season of the scroll. There are prophetic scrolls. You will pipe them. Strong prophetic maps. You will understand them. Strong prophetic writings, you will interpret them. Strong. All the dichotomies, you will know them. I will teach you, says the Lord. I will teach you. He said there is a grace dimension in your father that will rest on you in the next two years. I hear the Lord say to me, I should tell you. Now I say this with all responsibility. He said, go and pack his messages from 2010 to 2014 and listen to them. As you do, I will unlock something in your inside. I know there are angels that work with you. But you are coming. In, and, and I tell you, just the way there was a demand on you to stand and to speak, that if you don't speak, there is no peace. I see another season opening. There is another demand coming. This time, they will hold you by the hands. They will tell you what to say. They will tell you to keep quiet. And they will tell you to speak. I see a time clock that is open. And I see two calendar years. Two calendar years. I will tell you what it means after now. I will not say it in the public. But two calendar years are open in the spirit. And I see the Lord bringing you into a fountain. You were passing through the fountain and coming back. Going to the fountain and you are coming back. And I hear the Lord say, this is a prophetic fountain. You are walking in and you are walking back. You are about to pick some certain things from the spirit of the ancient one. You will yet see signs. There are certain deposits that are coming back, says the Lord. Because the season for them is now. So he's unlocking it again. He's opening it himself. He said, I shut it down. And now I'm opening it again. You will yet prophesy. 
I am giving you scrolls to eat. Eat them. Eat them. Eat them. And on this altar, we open the fountain of teaching. I can't hear your amen. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Salem, your borders will not be small. Amen. Your people will not be few. Amen. I said to you yesterday, nothing will scatter you. Amen. I say it on the mountain top, nothing will scatter you. Amen. You will keep wasking strong and strong and strong the better you will keep emerging. Oh, Salem, Salem, the peace of God. You will enjoy peace. You will enjoy peace. You will enjoy peace. Your people, they prosper. The people of God under your watch, they prosper. All of you will rise as shining stars. I cannot hear your amen. All of you will rise. 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 When Sheba comes, none of you will fall. When Sheba comes, she will see, but you will not fall. Oh, when Naaman comes with his gifts, you will not fall. You will prophesy. You will not become diviners. You can, I can hear you. You will prophesy. You will not become diviners. You will be men and women of power in the name of Jesus. You will experience covenant moments, covenant seasons. You will experience God's favor in the precious name of Jesus. You all are blessed. You all are empowered. I announce change over you. Amen. In this way, will you know that everything I said to you will come to pass? There will be three powerful jobs that will open to some people here. Amen. There will be three powerful jobs that will open to you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's my day one blood. And I fought the Lord. Let's still together. And one day you now see us have an estate. And you tell our children the stories of how we sought the face of God. Those are the stories you tell children. I don't respect a man that if I come to a house, you are the only one staying in the big house. That's empty. Even if you are not a pastor, what is that extra room doing? How, do you, how are you comforting? Where is my sweat and blood? The day you die, you will need people to bury you. If people are not important, you will need people to honor you, to bury you. I know this is a, a knowledge that is not popular, but brethren, let's run with this knowledge. Let's go and change our world. There are some seeds you have. Please don't bring it to profit you. Because I may not need it, but bring something. <laughs> I mean, I need it. But you can take that clothes, go to Lagos, that money, or send it to Lagos and buy a lot of clothes. That brother you are having issue, the fact that you saw how bad that she is, is because God wants you to do something about it. If you don't have capacity to do something about it, God will not open your eyes to it. You see the brother's clothes. Oh, that's how we live in those days. We told ourselves, I'm talking about many years ago, 
2829, he told herself, if we see him, it has become a button. So a brother that is struggling with this because he sees his brother shoes, he knew our shoes that time. The baptism of fire conference, dragon, invisible rulers conference. I'll be going to shoot. I'll be going to talk. I'm not exaggerating. I'll be going to talk. I'm as I pray, as I do like this. Beware the era of grace is ending. A visit to Kronos. How to overcome sexual sin. The mystery of time revealed. Also available in the bookshop and also on I was rushing to the altar that time the pastor was saying Pastor John Books and Pastor John Digital Media.com For all proof of payments I rushed to carry his Bible from the altar 2760 As a young brother that is born in the Lord The oil of my mandate And the trust that I wore to that conference is dressed on it Do you know those trust that that In those days we used to show them tight and put God Ah! Note, As the I oil is not for sale, but a gift from the man of God to you for your partnership towards the ministry. And then I took the Bible the and I threw to a dark corner. is available in the bookshop. Kindly <laughs> visit our bookshop to get yourself <laughs> a copy. It's like Vibrations of the Spirit so and Sounds energy. of Ascension into Realms and Then in that dark corner, I was just praying there. A sound from Zion. It's okay, and there's nobody will see me here. I don't know what kind of ushers they put in that program. <laughs> One lady met me, said, Man of God, sir, your toes are not dead. <laughs> I said, I know. So I can be so. I was praying. Another person met me. Sorry, sir. I said, I know. I know. <laughs> don't make it obvious. I couldn't hide it anymore. Is it not to put this down? I then went outside. Me that came with the guest speaker, I was now outside praying. I said, God, over to I see in those days, as you are doing all this thing, God is just watching you. You don't know that you that is suffering, you will be a great vessel the Lord is going to use in another 15 years to come. Yes. When God lifts you up, don't deny that he has lifted you, but don't forget the place he brought you from. We only have five minutes, we're going to close. Don't Nine, deny that he has lifted you. Eight, there are some people that seven, think they are wise in their own eyes. They will tell you that even though they have billions, oh, where well, we are managing. That is an insult to the God who has lifted you. He told me this himself. Pride is not acknowledging that God has lifted you. Pride is remembering the testimonies of, I mean, pride is not remembering the testimonies of.